Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples of subtraction of fractions with different denominators. So let us take an example here. And we want to subtract or simplify. Simplify one third plus one sixth minus three tenths like that. Three tenths. So step number one. Let us solve let us see how we can simplify uh, uh, sim simplify these fractions. What we need to do first is we want to find we want to find the least common multiple for the numbers 3, 6, and 10. So the way we want to do that is as follows. Step number two. We take the denominator, we take these numbers 3 and then write them out in their prime form. 3, the prime numbers for 3 are 1 times 3 is 3 and then for the second number 6 is 2 times 3 is 6 and for the third number, 10, 2 times 5 is 10. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a small box for ourselves and then write these, fill these boxes up, fill these uh, columns up with these prime numbers. In the first box, we will call it as the 2 column, and in the second box, we'll call it as the 3 column, and the third box, we'll call it as the 5 column. So in uh, in the number 3 there are no 2's, there is 1 3, there is no 5. In the number 6 we have 1 2, 1 3 and then no 5. In the number 10 we have 1 2, no 3 and 1 5. So now to find the L, uh, least common multiple for 3, 6, and 10, we're going to circle the highest power of the prime factors in these boxes. So the least common multiple is going to be equal to, let us first circle the numbers and then we'll come back and then put them together. In the, in the two columns, 2 is the highest prime factor. We could have either picked this one or the next one in, in, in that next one but we could pick two in the two column in the three column we could pick one of them so we'll pick that one and in the five column there is only one five so we'll pick the, that five there so therefore the least common multiple is we've circled the highest powers of all the prime factors and therefore we'll put them together two times three times five it will be the LCM or the least common multiple for 3, 6, and 10. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. So the LCM is 30 for these three numbers. Now we are ready to write the next step, and the next step is going to be as follows. So let me write this as in black, step number 3. We're going to say um, 3 times what number is equal to 30? 6 times what number is equal to 30? And 10 times what number is equal to 30? So now we know 3 times 10 is equal to 30, 6 times 5 is equal to 30, and 10 times 3 is equal to 30. So we are now ready to write the next step and the next step is going to be we're going to now bring down the fractions which are given to us 1 over 3 is the first fraction and then for this fraction we're going to multiply and divide by 10 to make make it a common denominator of 30 3 times 10 is 30 we bring down the second fraction which is 1 over 6 and then we're going to multiply this fraction by 5, 5 divided, multiply and divide by 5, so 6 times 5 will be equal to 30, and then the, la the third fraction is 3 over 10, and we're going to multiply and divide by 3 here, 3 divided by 3, 
10 times 3 is going to be equal to 30 and therefore we are now ready to we are now ready to multiply the numerator parts multiply the denominator parts in the first fraction 1 times 10 is equal to 10 divided by 3 times 10 is equal to 30 plus in the second fraction the numerator part is 1 times 5 is 5 and then the, de the denominator part is 6 times 5 is equal to 30 minus in the third fraction 3 times 3 is 9 in the numerator and then 10 times 3 is equal to 30 in the denominator so therefore we are now ready to put all of these together the common denominator is 30 for all the three fractions we combine the numerator parts in the numerators we have 10 plus 5 minus 9 so 10 plus 10 minus 9 is 1 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 6 divided by 30 so we can simplify this some more um, as you can see um, we have 6 in the numerator 30 in the denominator 30 is a multiples of 6 so therefore 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 5 is equal to 30 therefore this whole thing simplifies to 1 over 5 so therefore this is our answer when we when we had three fractions 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 minus 3 over 10 uh, when we simplified it using the procedure we talked about it simplifies to 1 over 5 and that is the way we want to understand subtraction of fractions with different denominators in my next presentation, we shall see more examples of subtraction of fractions with different denominators.